guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new episode of our Decades Challenge. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. So we are currently in the city here and, um, and we're actually going to be starting off with James. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to be visiting Nellie in the city and catching up with her, which I'm really excited about because it seems like whenever we go visit one of our favorite Sims, it seems like it's been forever uh, just because of the filming rotation and I always end up missing all of them so much. So I hope you guys are looking forward to today's episode. If you are, please consider subscribing to my channel and joining my family here. I am so excited to see what you guys think of today's episode, so let's just go ahead and get into it. So today we're actually starting off with James, and the first thing I actually wanted to show you guys was the last time we saw James, we saw his apartment, and we saw that him and Nellie had did a little bit of woohoos, and they actually um, started dating. And since then, it's actually been quite some time. Now, I wanted to just go in and quickly update his apartment to make sure everything was as time appropriate as possible so I changed his little guy space to be a little bit more time appropriate I still left the alcohol balls bottles because obviously it's the prohibition he's a gangster he's in the mob and he um, he has a liquor um, but I just updated everything a little bit so I just wanted to quickly show you guys I kind of went really glamorous with him I really wanted to showcase the fact that he's making a lot of money um, whether it's legally or not he's got a lot of money so I changed out the tables and stuff I just tried to make it look a little bit more time appropriate oh I meant to put a chair there <laughs> um, so yeah I went with a lot of reds and a lot of golds and blacks just to try to make everything pop I think my favorite though is this end of the house so I switched up the room and when you come in here I actually put these really big um, stone arches here in the walk-in closet and I kind of like I said pops of gold he's laying in bed right now he's really tired he just got home from work it's like one in the morning um, but I kind of figured him him and Nellie have been dating for a while and maybe Nellie had a few things, you know, a few opinions on how the place should look and she's kind of moved some of her stuff in. He's bought her a lot of stuff. So she's got like her perfumes and candles now. Um, they're so cute. And, um, yeah, so I actually really love how the bathroom turned out. I love this and so they've got this beautiful room, they've got the computer, huge high ceilings, I just love it. And then over here he has a gym. Um, I haven't decided what I want to do with this space, so if you guys have any ideas let me know. Maybe we could leave it a gym. But I just left the two workout machines that he had before. So like I said, he just got home from work. He is in the crime job and he works from 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. So I'm going to let him go to sleep and we'll catch back up with him in the morning. Okay, so it's the next morning and James has woken up. He is just currently eating some breakfast. Or if you guys remember in Alice's uh, birthday episode, James met all of Nellie's family and he got along with most of them pretty well. He kind of fought a bit with Gianni. Um, but yeah, so I think he's starting to feel a little bit closer to Nellie. I think he actually really liked her family. Um, and seeing like a smaller, more modest family with more humble, with being a little bit more humble and a little bit more loving than what he's used to. I actually think that that's caused him to feel closer to Nellie. And he's actually feeling flirty. He wants to kiss someone. So tomorrow's love day, he feels like he's prepping for romance, he's feeling really good. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him to travel over to his dad, over to the club, because he has some things that he needs to discuss with his father. So he's arrived at the club early, I'm going to get him, is he going to go ahead and grab a drink? He wants to chat with Janessa. Um, we'll get him to order a drink for himself. Uh, I think he'll get a barley bale. Um, so if you guys remember, like, so as I was saying, James works in the crime, in, um, the crime job and he works the night. So he basically is a grunt for his dad and he does like all of the dirty work. So every morning or, you know, every few days he comes into the club and he reports to his dad. Oh, Alice is here. He reports to his dad and he lets him know, you know, 
an update on everything. So he's going to go ahead and talk to his dad and and what he is going to say is, you know, I've noticed lately that there's been a lot more police activity in the area and they're definitely coming in on us a lot more. I feel like maybe you need to talk to some of your connections in the police department because I've noticed there's been a few people poking around where their nose doesn't belong and I don't want, you know, anything getting uncovered. So he is wanting to make sure that he's reporting that to his father. He also wants to report that, um, he also wants to let him know about the items that he was, he was able to steal and the money that he was able to make. Um, sentiment gain. You're so fun to be around. They love talking about crime. I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope that you feel that way about me too. So he actually gets along with his dad pretty well. Um, his dad is evil. <laughs> Um, and I am going to have him talk about Nelly. So he's going to let her, him know what's going on, but he's also going to say, you know, dad, I'm really getting serious about Nelly. She makes this club a lot of money and I also really care about her. So I plan on asking her to move in to my club. Wow, I'd love to get to know her. So he's talking Nelly up. He's letting her, him know basically he's in love with her. They've been dating probably for like, I would say maybe a year or so um because there's so many years that goes between all of the different series so I still want it to be somewhat realistic time so he's definitely been with Nelly for a while so he wants his father to know I'm gonna ask her to move in with me and I want her to you know I want you to know that this girl means a lot to me so she's gonna be around for a while so his father respects that decision. His father is okay letting uh, James feel like he has somewhat of a say when it comes to the company, when it comes to the business and how things are run. Um, and Nelly right now is currently making them a lot of money. So he has nothing negative towards her. So he's comfortable with that. Um, of course, if she was to stop making money or stealing from the company or decided to leave, that would change things. But for right now, James is vouching for her. And if you guys remember, that's actually why Nelly chose um, to hook up with James because she wanted to make sure that he was putting in a good word for her because um, the dad was actually starting to get a little bit rude and saying, you know, you're not making me enough money um, and was putting a lot of pressure on her. So he decided, she decided that if she pursued James that, you know, that pressure might ease off and with the pressure coming from her family and then it was starting to come from work she was just really getting sick of it so she decided to pursue James for her own gain <laughs> now with that being said that doesn't mean that Nellie doesn't actually like James but uh, you know so what we're gonna do is he is going to ask Nellie out on a date and I'm excited for you guys to see Nellie because I've actually given her I didn't finish her, so she might show up actually just in her underwear. <laughs> um, but I think I finished her looks. I can't remember. But I've given her a new look. Okay, so they've arrived for their date. I brought them to the park here. It's a little bit more elegant and fancy. And I think that James wants to bring her somewhere really beautiful and also make her feel super special. So this is where we've brought in her. So as you can see, I've given Nellie a new look. She has actually um, changed her hair quite drastically. She has um, definitely embraced more of the um, more up-to-date current style. I think that Nellie wants to um, always be looking good, you know? So he's just telling her how much he's missed her and how much... Uh, she means to him and she's super flirty. Well, I think no, oh, they're making out. I think Nellie really appreciates the fact that he was willing to go to her family dinner and get along with the family so much. And if you remember when they were there, um, he really stayed by her side and that was a lot of pressure for her. Um, because, you know, her family's really overwhelmed her. So I think that she's just really grateful that James stood by her side and made her feel um, supported. Oh, look, she's coming to light the fire and they're going to sit together. So I think he tries to protect her a little bit. Like, he doesn't want her to look at him differently. I think it's been a long time since James has had a woman who... 
uh, looks at him like she's proud of him and proud to be with him. You know, Nelly sees him as someone who's really prominent and really successful and she really thinks that he's a really cool guy basically. And I think that that is something that is really exciting for him. Look at her. Um, let's see. So basically he has brought her out today because he wants to basically make their relationship a little bit more official. They are dating. She is his girlfriend, but he, oh, they're making out. He would like her to move in with her. He doesn't like the idea of her getting away. Oh, he's got to go to work. This needs to happen a lot faster. I don't know if it's going to give me the option in time before he has to go to work. So we might have to invite her over after work. But basically he's just telling her how much she means to him and how he actually really enjoys her company. And he, you know, she knows his father. She knows his lifestyle. Um, and he feels like, you know, he wouldn't want anybody else on his arm. He wouldn't want anybody else... Um, supporting him during this time and if you see here there's the cutest sentiments so james has james has deeply connected james has a powerful bond with nelly that is a source of strength and comfort so like i said he sees her as like the one good thing in his life while he's dealing with all of this crime and 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 you know scary negative things and nelly is smitten it says nelly can't explain it but she is really enamored with james and the sight of him makes nelly's heart beat faster I have to say that makes me really, really happy. So he does have to go to work really soon. So I'm not sure if we're going to get to um, ask her to move in with us, but he's definitely prepping, you know, he's letting her know, he's telling her um, how he feels about her. And he is just going to say, you know, after work today, if you could come over to my place, um, I would really appreciate it if you would be there. Um, and he's going to give her a quick little kissy poo. Aww, cutie pies. I love these two so much. Um, and he's going to go to work. So unfortunately, that is going to be the end of the date. So he said, you know, I've got some business to take care of. Meet me at my place at midnight. So hopefully him and Nelly Belly will be able to finish their conversation later. But you guys will have to let me know what you think of Nelly's new look and we will catch up with him when he gets back from work. James just got back from work. He's been promoted to Petty Thief. James has been promoted. He will now make an additional $4 per hour. He has received a bonus and emblems of espionage. Oh, she's here. Aw, why is she sad? So she's shown up actually really sad. Is she going to go cry? Maybe this is recently after she spoke with her sister, Emma. But they were starting to catch up, so I don't know why she's crying. I wonder why she's so sad. Well, at least she came over like we asked her to. Let's go over and... Oh, ask to join household. And then we can find out why she's sad. So he's going to come over and just say to her, you know, the reason why I've asked you over here is I... So we're going to ask her to live with us and say, you know, you're my girl. You're really fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you. And I hope you feel that way about me too. That's what he said. So she has actually said, okay. <gasps> so Nelly is moving in with us. And now we can find out why she's sad. Doesn't say why she was sad. So anyways, these two are together now. They're having a deep conversation. I feel like she puts him in a place where he's never been before. Like, he just sees hope and excitement and future with her. Whereas, with his dad's lifestyle that has been brought to him, it's always been, you know, when will, you know... When will it all end? When will I get busted? When will I be caught by the police? When would some, you know, maybe a rival gang get me? You know, he's always worried about that. But now he has something that actually has brought so much hope into your life, into his life. <gasps> Can you keep it down? How about you get lost because my white or my girlfriend is singing to me and she is the love of my life. 
And Nellie, I want to quickly go ahead and finish her look. So we'll go into create a sim and finish her up. Okay, you guys, so I just finished her looks. So this is her second everyday look. Now, what I've done is she has cut her hair short, but if you guys remember, Nelly does have naturally curly hair. So I wanted this to be like it was less tr uh, treated and it was more closer to her natural. And so there's a little bit of swoops and the blunt bangs and stuff like that and a little bit more of a curve because she hasn't styled it styled it as opposed to when she has it styled really straight like this um then for her formal look i gave her this look with the feathers in her hair and the super um tight curls along the head the hairline i absolutely love this although i just realized she needs some earrings and so that's her formal then her fitness, I was like, whatever about her sleep. I gave her a cute little orangey red robe. And again, I gave her the curly hair. Then her party is a super fancy dress. I believe that um, James has definitely bought her some stuff and spoiled her. Swim, whatever, her hot weather. I gave her two different hot weather looks. So she has this one in the blue dress and then she also has this little bit shorter skirt in the red color. Then this is her winter look again. I wanted it to look like, you know, James has really been spoiling her and bought her like a fur coat and you know, dresses her up and dolls her up and she feels super fabulous so there is our nelly belly you guys let's go ahead and jump back into the game okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna uh, send these two to sleep um as soon as james is done in the shower Okay, so it's early morning. Nellie has uh, woken up before James. James is still, oh, he just woke up, it looks like. But anyways, so she's out here and she is meeting her new neighbor who happens to be actually super angry. Um, and so Nellie's just gonna be like, hello. Oh, look, there's our maid, she's so cute. So Nellie's introducing herself to the new neighbor and saying how, you know, I'm James's girlfriend. I just moved in. How are you? Um, and this is Margaret Jones. This is another sim that was created by Purple Dragon 913 um, And this lady is gonna be like, oh, so you're the new girl. You're the new one, eh? The new flavor of the week. James has a new girl all the time. It's really cute that you actually think that you're his girl. She's like, I was his girl at one point, too. <gasps> Look, she's marching into our house. Yikes. I think James is gonna have to come over here and, uh talk to her so James is waking up to actually find a different woman in his kitchen and she's gonna actually be really mad and he's gonna be like what are you doing here I don't understand why you're in my place and she's like I thought I was your girl and now I find out you just moved in a new girl so she's really upset because you know James had a little bit of a a little bit of a cheeky side before he met um before he met Nelly. So James is just gonna say to Margaret, like, you need to leave my property, you need to get out of my apartment, and you need to leave Nelly alone. You don't belong here, and you need to leave. So he's told her to get lost, and she doesn't seem to really be listening too much. Um, so he's going to, oh, she's leaving, okay, good. So, oh, this woman is still in our house. Well, that's okay. We'll just use her for mischief. We're going to ask what her prized possessions are. Uh, start a rumor. It's actually kind of funny um, because Emma is naturally a, kind of a mischievous sim. She, um, she tends to... Um, go around uh scaring a gianni and you know pulling little tricks so i feel like her and james actually might get along pretty well if they got to know each other a little bit better so he's gonna say kind of good morning even though it's the afternoon and he's gonna just say you know i see you met the neighbor and she's like oh yeah she's quite the uh nice lady and uh apparently he's gonna give her another little kiss first ah little cuties 
and I think he's just going to say, you know, she was just a girl from my past. You don't have to worry about it. Like, I don't feel anything towards her, you know. Um, I hope that she didn't upset you in any way. So I think Nellie's like, oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm totally, I understand. And she's not going to let that um, change how she views James. Um, so I think James is really happy about that. I think he was a little bit worried that Margaret maybe um, made Nellie think negatively about him. I think that is truly um, James's biggest fear is having Nellie ever view him differently than um, she does right now. And if you could see, it, sh his dad actually just called him and said, you know, we've got a job tonight, so you have to be, you know, meet me in this certain place at this time. So, um, James has been called into work, and I think he's a little sad because it's like Valentine's Day, um, and he probably wanted to do something nice for Nelly, but instead he's got to go to work, so that really sucks. He only has one day off a week, and Nelly probably does have to work at the club too. I mean, it's Valentine's Day, so it's probably going to be a busy place, so unfortunately the two of them aren't going to be able to spend any time together. Nellie's got to go to work too. So um, they do want to do some Love Day woohoos though. So I'm going to let them go ahead and do some Love Day woohoos and then I'm going to send her into work. Maybe he'll take her to the club and drop her off before he starts his shift and that will be their way of being able to spend some time together. Okay so we're going to get the two of them to travel over to the work. That way he can, you know, they can have a little bit of time together um, before he has to start his shift. Alrighty, so James has gone ahead and dropped Nelly off at work. So I'm going to get him to come over and just basically say goodbye to her and tell her to have a good day at work. Nelly is getting a little bit more comfortable with drinking and stuff. She isn't... Um, Oh look, they have a new sentiment. Closer from happy memories and deeply connected. So he's gonna tell her to have a good shift and that he's so sorry that he had to leave and that she has to work on Valentine's Day. Um, and he's gonna make it up to her. But Nellie seems to do be still pretty happy. So I'm gonna get Nellie to go ahead and practice her singing and get to work. So it's time for uh, James to get to work. So he is going to meet the gang. <laughs> so we've got James, Robert, Baco, Alonzo, Simeon, and Marcus. Oh, I forgot to give Marcus his makeover. So James is currently on, um, currently out and about with his gang doing his job. And he has actually ran in to this cop who you guys know is um gauge and he's gonna get really mad and he's gonna say why have you been following me everywhere i go because gauge has actually been the guy who has been tailing james for the last few weeks that he was telling his dad about and he is basically putting gauge in his place and saying you know i don't know which department you work for but we basically own your department <gasps> Ooh. Gage lost, or uh, James lost the fight. So he's caught the guy who is currently been um, tailing him, and he's like, I don't understand why you've been tailing me. I've got all of you guys in this department bought out. Maybe you're a new guy and your people haven't told you that you're not supposed to be giving me a hard time. Um, but he's gonna, I'm gonna make sure I talk to your people and get you off my back. And so Gage is gonna say, nobody's paying me, I'm here on my own free will because I am out here looking out for Nelly. So Gage is actually running into the club and suspiciously Gianni also happens to be here. So I feel like Gianni maybe came with Gage, um, to help out with the situation. And it looks like Gage is actually walking right up to Nelly. And Nellie is like, why are you here, Gage? So she's going to come over and be friendly and just be like, why are you here? James actually has to go off to another job. He's gotten in a fight with um, Gage. But uh, I don't think he knew that she was going. I don't think he knows that Gage was actually coming to speak with Nellie. So she's going to say, come to the back room so we can talk together. It's so loud out here. So 
And he's going to say, listen, Nellie, you know, you're a really great girl. You deserve the world. And I wanted to give it to you. Look at yourself. You look like a completely different person. So he's going to say, I'm here because I care about you. And she's going to say, you don't care about anyone but yourself, Gage. And what your own plans for your life was. You don't actually care about me. If you cared about me, you'd understand that I chose that you weren't the one for me. And that you aren't the best for me. And he's going to say, listen, Nellie, I was going to give you a great life. You're getting caught up with some really bad people here. Don't you understand? Like, you're going down a really dangerous path right now. Nellie's like, I don't think you understand. She's like, I'm choosing my path. Whether it's the right one or not, that's for me to find out. Not for you or for my mom or for my sister to tell me. And I'm really sick of you people thinking that you have, an, have a say in what I choose for my life. So Nellie is so mad. And so she is going to tell him to go away. She's like, listen, Gage, I don't ever want to see you again. If I ever see you again, I am going to report you to your department because I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not committing any crimes, and you're basically stalking me now. It's getting to the point where it's passing a line. So if I see you at my place of work again, I will go to the police. And so Gage kind of like laughs it off like, you're going to go to the police, huh? Do you even know who you're dating? So the two of them did not... Um, see eye to eye and it did not work out as planned unfortunately so James is really mad because there's this guy up in his business but when he finds out that he's also been in Nellie's business James is gonna be really mad because it's one thing to you know have crime bosses and different people getting involved in um, getting involved in his business he expects that but when he start, people start getting involved in his girlfriend's business, he's not okay with that. Now, James actually has his guys here um, to basically watch over Nellie. So uh, his men are definitely going to report back to him to let him know that, you know, there's this guy here. He's roughing up and giving her a hard time. What do you want us to do about it? Gage is looking pretty sad. I feel so bad for him. However, I do agree. He has no right being here. There's no reason for him to be here. Um, it's not really his place. And I think that Nellie is getting a little bit sick of this. So Nellie's going to go home because she is done her shift for the night. So I think Nellie's pretty sad. Like once again, her family doesn't trust her. Like why would Gage just show up? Obviously Emma has said something and it's pretty too bad because this is right when her and her sister were able to catch up and kind of make amends. So it's really sad that um, she's feeling once again, people are meddling and this is the happiest she's ever been and it's a choice she made. So she's pretty upset about it. Uh, James has brought home $91. He is really tired and he's also really hungry. So I'll let him go ahead and eat this grilled cheese since it's there. But I want him to come in here and wake up Nellie. Because his men have reported back to him about Gage. So first off, so he's going to come in and he's going to give her a hug and say, I missed you so much. I'm so sorry. Aw, she's so happy to be with him. And he's going to say, listen, I heard about this Gage guy bugging you. And, you know, I'm going to have to take care of it. Like, I got in a fight with him. He's been following me around. And, of course, right now, Nellie doesn't know that, um, Nellie doesn't know, you know, the full extent of, um, the full extent of, um, James's job. So, she just thinks that, this guy is basically stalking, you know, her ex is basically stalking her and her boyfriend. And she's just like super upset about it. And he's like, listen, I'm going to have my guys basically on you, uh, basically um, taking care of you for the foreseeable little while. I want to make sure that this guy doesn't bug you anymore. And I also want to make up to you for the fact that, you know, we had a really bad love day. I want you to know that I love you and that I want to be with you. And he said, you know, I want to make this official. I'm tired of people getting in the way of this. Because, you know, they're going to get engaged. She said yes. 
And the thing is, is Nellie is so mad at Gage. She knows that Gage is her ex, so she feels like this is her fault. So she also wants to get engaged to him because she wants to make her own choice. She wants to choose her man. Um, and James wants to get engaged to her because, again, you know, yes, it's police, but it's also her ex. So he's like, this guy's, you know, trying to get my girl. I'm going to lock it in, you know. So James has decided to ask Nellie to marry him. And Nellie has gone ahead and said yes. These two want to be together forever, and I am so excited for them to finally be able to start their future together. Nellie is so happy. So the two of them have gotten engaged, so I guess in the next episode we're going to have a big wedding. And I'm super curious to hear your guys' thoughts. You'll have to let me know what, what you guys think about this. Uh, are you happy with the engagement? Are you not? How do you feel about Gage getting involved? Oh my god, look at these two cutie pies. I have a feeling these two are going to have so many challenges in their life. But I think that they're going to be able to make it together. So, like I said, let me know your thoughts. I love to hear them. And until next time, you guys, I'm going to say bye for now.